first of all, uh, we know that the outcomes for young people uh, improve with every year that they uh, delay pregnancy. Secondly, we know that the age of marriage is increasing uh, uh, in countries around the world. Thirdly, we know that education uh, is becoming an increasing priority and in pregnancy and education, in fact, uh, uh, don't cohabitate very well. So what happens is if you become pregnant, uh, you're out of school. So family planning is in fact investing in human resources. It's investing in young people to give them the space and time uh, not only to develop and to mature, but to achieve education, to achieve uh, the goals that will build a nation. The barriers of providing uh, uh, family planning and reproductive uh, health services uh, in developing countries there must be a gazillion uh, barriers. One is that family planning isn't on the radar screen in many developing countries because it's been trumped uh, by HIV. Uh, so uh, uh, HIV has sucked not only all of the air out of the conversation, but all of the money uh, out. So there's, there, there are very few uh, resources. That's one. Two uh, is that um, we have too often a very linear, very simplistic notion about what makes a difference uh, in uh, uh, impacting sexual and reproductive health. Specifically, uh, uh, um, we say, well, if we can put condoms in your hand, we got it. We got it. Well, a condom in the hand doesn't do much in terms of contraception. So simply marketing contraception makes a difference, but it's sort of like necessary but not sufficient. So then you say, well, then what we have to do is understand where kids are coming from. We have to understand how they think about the world. We have to understand how um, uh, they engage the world. We have to understand what their priorities are. And we have to think about how do we then deliver our services within their context, within their development, within their understanding. To me, effective services aren't just saying, you come to me. It's also saying, I will come to you. So it um, could well be running groups uh, in a school for boys as well as girls. It could well be uh, uh, um, uh, uh, giving presentations or running groups uh, in uh, uh, a mosque or in a church. It could well be uh, in uh, um, doing activities in a community forum that involves and educates young people and then says we have services available uh, and so that they understand that male and female are welcome uh, to um, use these services. But I think it requires being proactive. It requires going outside of the clinic facility uh, if you really want to um, engage young people where they're at.